there are other treatments for relapse disease. Um, you know, the checkpoint inhibitors, nivolumab and pembrolizumab are uh, approved for uh, for relapse refractory disease. I think that uh, autologous stem cell transplant for the majority of patients who are young who relapse after uh, frontline chemotherapy uh, remains a standard treatment. Although, if you don't give radiation therapy uh, and there's just a localized relapse in a initially involved site that was not irradiated, you can give radiation therapy, which may be enough. But anyway, that remains a standard for patients with extensive relapse refractory disease after frontline treatment. There are trials with CAR T cells um, and were participants, uh, you know, the leaders I think have been in, uh, in Texas uh, and uh, at Baylor, University at Baylor Medical School in Texas and uh, in North Carolina. Uh, and uh, results have not been, there are not a lot of, you know, really strongly positive results as there are in, a, in a high grade B cell non Hodgkin lymphomas. But that's another area that's being explored and we'll, we're going to be, we are participating uh, in one of those trials. Um, so, um, but my focus has really been kind of moving, moving the, uh, moving things forward in as, in initial treatment. And there, I think, I'm very, uh, I think that the trial we we have two new, really powerful tools: uh, antibody drug conjugate, rituximab, adotin, and checkpoint inhibitors, immune therapies. And if we, you know, can move those up early, they're approved for relapsed refractory disease. If we can move them into initial treatment, this may even improve the already excellent results we have with ABVD.